Hey guys, Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. We're talking about a prosperous soul. And uh, I hope you're getting something out of this study. Yesterday we, uh, uh, we talked about uh, how to prove the will of God. Well, let me tell you, you cannot do that in the flesh. You cannot do that in the flesh. You can only do that in the spirit. And we found out that when we apply the word of God, it begins to cause our soul to prosper and start to understand spiritual things. And when we start to understand spiritual, spiritual things, we yield to the spirit rather than the flesh. Why? Because our soul likes to prosper. Amen. So again, Romans chapter 12, verse 2, do not be conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Apply the word. Why? Because it's spirit and light. It's spirit and it's life. And um, so anyway, today I, I want to show you that the spirit, um, because it can't be accessed in, in any other way. Let me rephrase this. You cannot access the spirit in any natural ways. We have to access the spirit spiritual ways. Again, this book is a spiritual book. And when you apply this, this book to your life, it's alive and powerful and pierces. It does all those things that we've talked about, okay? Jesus said in John chapter 3, verse 6, he says, That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. In other words, there's no connection between these two. Uh, the only way we have access to the Spirit is by applying the Word of God and having the Holy Spirit within us in order to give us revelation and understanding of that Word. He's the Spirit of truth that leads and guides us into all truth. Amen? Um, you cannot, and, and see this, the world tries to do this, you cannot uh, contact your Spirit through uh, emotions or your physical body. Now again, I hear people, in fact, uh, one lady that comes to mind, she came up and she had on a kind of a long smock looking kind of dress with crosses on it, and she says, oh, I'm very spiritual. And do you know she didn't know anything about the Word of God? Her whole understanding of spirituality was based upon her emotions. Let me tell you something, that's very dangerous because Satan will mess with your emotions. He wants to make you feel certain ways when certain things happen. That's why so many people are trying to call up the dead because it just feels good if I'm able to talk to my dead parents. Uh, let me tell you something, that is a very dangerous thing. That's operating in the emotions. If you and I understand the Word of God, which gives life, remember, then we know that someday, if they were born again, we're going to see them again because they are in the presence of God, even right now. And when we get there, we will see them and know them. Amen. And so, you, you have to recognize, I... Listen, there's only one way to understand the spirit realm. That's through the word of God and with the unction of the Holy Spirit. Uh, if you do not understand that spiritual reality can't be felt, then you'll be confused with God's word. Why? Because God's word says stuff like... Um, um, the very power that raised Jesus from the dead is in you. Really? I don't feel it. See how that works? See, right away we want to go to our natural senses and I don't feel that. That doesn't make any difference. In the spirit, the spirit is living and powerful. Or I mean, the word is living and powerful. And Jesus' words are spirit in their life. If the word says it, then it's so. That's the reality of the spirit work, uh, 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 of our spiritual makeup. The word says it, it is it. I don't have to feel it. I don't even have to understand it. But it's truth. Um, if you think truth can be discerned through your natural senses, then you'll be baffled when the Bible says that you're a brand new cre creation in Christ Jesus. Remember in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, it says, Those who are in Christ are a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Well, wait a minute. When I got born again, I still look the same. I have the same body. I weigh the same amount. 
Uh, I have the same wrinkles, right? Um, I have the same scars. Well, wait a minute. What do you mean I'm a new creation? Maybe you were bad at math and all of a sudden you think, well, I'm a new creation. I'm going to go enroll in a calculus class. Well, I hate to tell you this, but you're, it's not going to change. You're a new creation because your spirit now is made alive to God. And now if you'll begin to apply the word of God, which pierces even to the division of the soul and the spirit and the bone and the marrow and is the discern of the thoughts and the intents of the heart, and give life, then all of a sudden you'll start to understand these things and remember, and then you'll even prove what is the will of God. See, that's how we're moved spiritually. It's not emotions. It's not rationale. It's the Word of God, plain and simple. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek Him and serve Him.